Hey pasta fans, what is up and what is good? Today I have <coughs> a new card game on the block, Final Fantasy Trading Card Game Opus 1. Um, this has just been released this week apparently, this is the English edition here. I'd, I'd imagine it would been out in Japan for a little while. Um, but I thought I'd, I'd open it and give it a try. So it's got 12 cards per pack and it's priced at £3.70 which is a penny more than the recommended retail price on a booster pack of Pokemon cards. But you get two extra cards. So, of the common set, there are 78 cards, Rare there are 60 cards, Hero there are 34, Legend there are 14, and Premium there are 216 cards. This pack contains 12 cards, randomly taken from a total of 186 cards, 216 Premium cards. This pack does not include any rulebook. This pack might contain two identical cards. So there you go, um, where does Pokemon put uh, a Rare in every pack kind of thing? I think what this pack is actually saying is that um, they're basically just selecting randomly, so it's 12 random cards. That, I'll, I'd be interested to see how that works out in terms of uh, people collecting them. But um, yeah, the packaging seems very pretty good quality I would say. So let's get into it. It actually has a wee notch there at the top for, for opening as well, which is pretty useful. And of course, when I'm doing my, the Pokemon openings, uh, there is a three card trick. Now, if this is just random cards, then I don't think there will be any three card trick. So we have uh, two Scholar. Uh, put Scholar into the break zone. Choose one forward you can control. Return it to its owner's hand. Okay. Oh, the cards feel like sort of plasticky. Um, quite good quality. That's how that looks good. The, the artwork looks really quite nice. When Zalbag Knight, when Zalbag enters the field, choose one forward of cost to break it. Break it? Hmm. I don't know very much about this game at all. So this is a standard backup standard unit. We have a thief. When thief enters the field, your opponent puts the card of his or her deck into the break zone. We have a fairy EX. Um, EX bust. Choose one forward, activate it, draw one card. We have a summoner, a uh, standard unit, dragoon, standard unit, first strike, if this forward blocks or is blocked by a forward without first strike, this forward deals damage first. Okay, okay. So we get this uh, evoker, standard unit, it's a shiny one as well, quite nice. We have a Hecat hecaton shear. Uh, summon, choose one backup, of course, three or more, break it. We have you, Yuge. When Yuge enters the field, draw one card, then place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck. We have Nudge. When Nudge enters the field, your opponent discards one card from his or her hand. When Nudge leaves the field, your opponent draws one card. And we have Bart's, e Bart's EX. Um, when Bart's enters the field, activate the wind characters you control. Okay, so well, I'll, I'll need to look into this. And I don't, literally, I don't even know much about Final Fantasy to be honest with you. But I, I like the idea of it. I know my friend Sparky likes Final Fantasy, so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd buy a buy a deck and you know, buy a booster pack and look into it. I'm presuming the the numbers at the top are the number of the. No, 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 they're not. I think there must be points of some sort. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to look into how to play etc. But. Uh, as I say, I like the artwork, I like the fact that these are quality cards, I mean, it, it feels more plasticky than card day if you like. So, yeah, very interesting stuff. Thanks guys.